So first stage of twin spring clutch is to drill out the rivets. So this is just mounted on a milling machine. I'm just drilling out through the center of these rivets that hold the spring in place to get rid of them. Drift out the remaining part of the rivet. Okay, we're back on the bench. We've got the two rings. Uh, one of these goes below the springs and one goes above. We've got the two springs that we're gonna to use to build the clutch up. We've got the top section of the rivet, which held the springs in place. So these are now drilled through with an eight mil diameter hole and they've just been deburred, just so there's no sharp edges on them. We're gonna be reusing these sections of rivets. These holes where the rivets went through, uh, you'll need to drill those with a seven mil drill and then tap them with an M8 tap. So these springs come in different thicknesses I've got a 1.9 and a 2.2 mil thickness. This should be enough for most applications. Uh, this is a slightly uprated 1300 one and a standard 1300 one on the bottom. Because we're gonna increase the height where the rivet was, we're gonna need to put a washer in. I'm using a spring washer here that's the same thickness as the spring that we're going to add. So that will keep these at the same height they were on the original clutch setup. So we're going to build this clutch. Just make sure you line up the holes for the uh, puller. The three holes around here with the three holes in this plate. This obviously doesn't have the centre uh, in it yet, which fits on the crank. Uh, I'm just going to do a, a build up with this just to make sure everything fits together and I can check the torque that it slips at. Good idea to use a couple of longer bolts just to hold everything in place because the spring needs pulling down quite a bit. This will just make it easier to line everything up. You can drop the washers in place and guide them in with a screwdriver. using some Allen button head bolts. These are 10.9 torque uh, by 20 mil long M8. So the sleeve goes on. I'm gonna wind them in with a T-handled Allen key.
Okay, that's the last bolt going in. Uh, we're going to torque these up to 15 foot pounds. And you can use some Loctite 571 on them also. Good thing about this clutch system is that it's it's really cheap to get some really good results. Uh, we used to use these on the turbo cars back in the VMAX racing days, going back to the sort of early 90s. Um, you can use a second hand clutch, two second hand clutches, and make a clutch that's really good for holding a lot of torque for, for peanuts really. I think the bolts and washers cost about three pounds. So next we're going to add the centre for the crank. Um, these bolt holes are all slightly offset so it will only line up in one position. And that should also allow the three bolts for the puller access. So just do those up. Now we're going to bolt it to a flywheel. This is a steel flywheel that I've got. You don't have to use a steel flywheel. This is just made slightly lighter than the original one. Uh, I've got a sprung center plate. Uh, these are great for saving your transmission, uh, engine mounts, just this little bit of give that they allow in the center with the sprung force uh, just takes the edge off slowing down in top gear, um, just makes everything last a bit longer. These are what I use normally, gives a much smoother pull away, no clutch judder, uh, but obviously if you're using it for drag racing, you do lots of standing starts, you probably want a solid center and wear and tear associates with that. going to use for testing is this vice. I've put a 8mm piece of steel plate in there uh, standing up about 20mm and that's to hold the flywheel lock key slot on the other side of the flywheel, this slot across here. So I'm just going to drop the flywheel, this slot onto that piece of bar. Like that. Next tool I use is three quarter inch drive torque wrench. I've got a primary gear that's got a three quarter drive socket welded into it. And we're just going to check the torque uh, on the clutch and see what it will pull. So the torque wrench is set to 180 foot pounds. And this clicks. If I go a little bit more, I can just turn the plate. So that's pretty safe at 180 foot pounds now. So that's the end of another video. Thanks for watching. Um, this is going to be stripped down. I'll put some Loctite on these bolts now. This centre I just used for testing. Obviously you can see it's a bit damaged. But that's 180 foot-pounds clutch, probably more than a double grey by kind of 20%, uh, but still have pretty good feel on the pedal, being a Verto type unit.